and we have another really fun project to do today. This is what I call my credit card business card holder. Great for men and women, and they're great for those extra cards that you are required to have to get your discount at grocery stores, um, pharmacies, or whatever. This is my one that I use every single day, so you can see I have a lot of cards in there. Perfect size for your business cards. You can put your favorite team's logo on here. So as you can see, I have quite a few of them. Pretty much any time I make a new bag for somebody, if I have a little extra fabric left over, I'm going to treat them and give them one of these. So they really are a lot of fun to make. So I'm going to get my supplies gathered and we'll get started. Okay, for this project, you are going to choose your fabric. This will be your outside pieces, and these two smaller pieces will be your inside pocket pieces, these little pieces right here. So for these pieces, you're going to need four and a half inches. You'll need two of them by six. They are both medium weight interfaced. Okay, so you have two of those. Then you have two pieces of four and a half inches, same width as these, but they are only five inches instead of six inches. These also are interfaced. So you're going to take one of these, you're going to lay it down, take one of these, and you're going to press it in half. Actually, while you're there, press them both in half. You're going to take them over to your sewing machine, and you're going to do some type of top stitching here. You can see on this one, I used my, my little leaves. You can just do a nice straight stitch. You can make it a long, elongated stitch to give it a little bit more of a decorative finish. But anytime you put a stitch here on your fold line, you are going to make it stronger, and it's going to get a lot of use, so you are going to want to make that stronger. I'm going to go iron both of these, put my stitch on it, and I will be right back. Okay, so you can see that I did add my little stitch, a little less than a quarter inch from the fold, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the raw edge of this, and I'm going to line it up on the raw edge here, put in a pin, same with on this side, if it's done correctly you should have about an inch in between those two, now I'm going back to my machine, and I'm going to sew about an eighth of an inch up this way, come across, and back down. Eighth of an inch this way, come, whoops, not come across the top, but eighth of an inch this way and across this way. After I do that, I'm going to take this piece put it over the entire top, and I'm only going to sew three sides. I'm going to leave this bottom part open. Okay. okay, so I did sew from this bottom corner up along the top and back down. This part I did leave open. What I want to do now is I want to trim very, very close to my seam without going into it. Get rid of some of this bulk when I get to my corner, I'm just going to go diagonal and then back around. This really is a very, very quick and easy project. You can make a whole bunch of them in an afternoon and give them out at Christmas time or sell them at your craft fair that's coming up. in there. Very carefully turn it. Okay, and I use my 
a chopstick and you're going to see that a pocket is on one side and another pocket is on the other one. But what we're going to do is we're going to reach into the middle with this one. This one is going to stay this pocket. So make sure that that is pushed out. We're not looking for a point. We're looking for a nice soft round. just like that. Now turn this back over and when you get to this side I want to do just a tiny bit more trimming. Just a little bit. I'm going to cut into this corner just ever so slightly without cutting your stitch. We'll take off that corner and this corner very very carefully. Okay. Now you're going to put your thumbs up in here and turn this side right side out. Now both pockets are matching. You're going to take your little stick, poke out this corner here without poking through it. Take a little press here. Wasn't that a quick and easy Awesome, awesome. I love quick and easy. And something that you can use, something that you can give away, something that you can sell. This particular credit card holder is for my nephew in Hawaii. He requested I make him one after seeing one that I did made. Make, and I'm extremely flattered. I love Okay, so this is for my nephew Kevin in Hawaii. I love you very much, sweetie. Enjoy this. And for the rest of you, I will see you for our next project, and enjoy your day. Make it a great day.